Why a shitty job as a side hustle is actually good for your business. Hello, welcome to this video. Again, out of Colombia here, we saw some apes jumping through the trees. But anyways, the topic today is why a shitty job or why a BS job can actually be good for your business. Some weeks ago, I was uh, talking with my girlfriend. She talked about, hey, okay, she also wants to be self-employed because she hates being employed and working for somebody else. So she was talking to me and said, ah, okay, but she needs a job to support her business. And I thought about it and I was advising her, if you take a job, then really choose a BS, like super shitty job that you know that you will hate. So why did I give her that advice? For me it was like, because I went through some periods really trying to be self-employed through years now, learning, improving, becoming better. And one thing I realized is that you always think, okay, when I start my business and I want to hustle for some years, I will be rich at some point. And I will be like successful super quickly. Because there are many like cases online or that you see on YouTube and wherever that made it, like that made it also quickly maybe. But there's also the likelihood that if you start a business that you will work for years and that you will still not be like super super successful and you still might be very at the beginning because this was for me like the case I was working and grinding for years now and even now I'm at the point I'm not like financially rich after years but I'm at the point of course I can like at least work online which is cool and I'm working on that but I thought for myself okay with 20 with 24 years old I'm 24 years old right now I will be a millionaire right I thought that the realization out of this is that being self-employed and having like a good stable income from your business this will take longer than you think so this is the first thing that we have to realize it takes longer than you think so probably the job that you do you will need it longer than you think. You will need to work on this job for more years or for a longer period of time than you might think at the beginning. And here comes the danger when you choose a job that is like too awesome, too cool or too comfortable. When you start with your business, especially when you start with your business, the first years, there will be so many hours that you have to invest. So many grinding work where it's hard with doubts and so many money that you will invest. And then you fail at the beginning and there will be so many doubts where you think, okay, might it be better to not be self-employed? If you then have an alternative, if you then have like an income that is like pretty comfortable, where the money is good, I'm pretty convinced that most people are very likely to quit. This is why I advise all of you and also if I would need a job again to choose a BS side hustle if you need a job because then you have something that every day motivates you because it's so shitty it's like you work you hate your work uh, you still do it because you have to because you need money because you need money for food for the rent and then you come home it's like ah okay I don't want to work one day longer in this shitty job so let's fucking work on my business so you not only have no alternative and to work on your business but you have a driver you have a fire that motivates you for your business for example recently I was talking to a friend he's also in sales right now he told me he was working some for some huge big factory and he's from Germany so in the winter he told me in February he had to drive with a bicycle by zero degrees I did it also in Vienna when I was like delivering pizza at some point your hands the, your hands die this is, this is so horrible to drive bike when it's super cold he had to do this every single day to drive to his job and work like such a shitty job and right now he's in sales he's doing cold calls probably one of the like the most where you need to grind the most in sales it's not the hardest I think the hardest is the closing call but it's where you have definitely have to grind the most because you have to deal with most projections and he's says okay he's glad that he's allowed to sit inside somewhere where it's warm and we can just talk and call to people he doesn't need to go out at zero degrees drive a fucking bicycle where his hands die because it's so cold no he's able to sit inside and work on his business and only because he didn't quit and of course he did not quit because this fucking job that he had this wasn't an alternative he would never quit for this fucking job so this was the video if you were at the beginning of starting your business maybe then I hope this helped you by choosing the right side income I hope you enjoyed this video here out of Colombia. Let's take some action and maybe we'll see each other in the next video.